working with analog synthesis is never less than interesting. Um, in a previous video I showed how I'd made this interface up uh, for the Korg Monotron to get gate and CV into it. There's also a, an input for the to control the filter. Unfortunately, running raw out of the sequencer, there's very out of the SQ1, there's very little adjustment on the filter at all. Very little. And it does all sorts of weird things. If you close it right down with the resonance open, if you close the filter down, it just opens the filter right up. Anyway. I was more or less ready to give up on it, and then I had an idea, which I shall address in the second part of this video. So I'm going to turn this off now and go to the second part, because I've got a bit more setting up to do. Right, part two. I've set up uh, taking MIDI from the output from the SQ1 into the MIDI bit and then there's a CV control coming out and a trigger which is hooked into the gate on the Monotron interface and the CV goes in through that interface as well. And now I have full control back over the filter. It also tames the pitch a lot. Um, straight out of the SQ into this Monotron interface, uh, it, it's very little control over the pitch at all, it just works in the top ranges and that's about it. But, I'm happy to say, it actually works. So now, I can fit all of this lot into a box, because I've got to admit that it did really knock me confidence when I found out it really didn't work with the other way around. So I think the signal is probably a bit hot coming out of here for the for this interface. I have seen um, examples of using the little bits output on, uh, on the SQ1 to run this, but in the end of it all, this seems to work really rather well. And it also works with the four note sequencer that comes with the little bit kit. Little Bits Kit. So, there we go. Problem is solved.